Over 1,300 Palestinians have been killed. Uh, three Israeli civilians have died. It's believed two of them in, uh, as a result of rocket or mortar. Yet you're saying Iron Dome is not responsible for um, the low casualty rate for Israelis. Why? Well, the low casualty rates are due to uh, an extremely effective system of early warning and sheltering. There are shelters all over Israel that have been built by the government. People have shelters in their homes by law. And there is a warning system that tells you that a rocket might be traveling in your direction. So all you need to do is get into the shelter, into a shelter, and uh, even if the rocket hits your house, you will not be killed. Now, if you don't get into a shelter and the rocket hits your house and, for example, enters the room where you were sitting, you will be killed. So, so the sheltering and warning is very critical to saving lives. Now, even the Israeli government has made this point because uh, there are Bedouins who the Israeli government uh, does not recognize as uh, deserving or, or does not protect them. These are nomadic uh, Arab peoples. And uh, they, the Israeli government uh, argued against providing the Bedouins with shelter simply because all the people have to do, according to the Israeli government, is lie down on the ground if they know that an artillery rocket might be coming in. And if they do that, their chances of being a casualty will be reduced by 80 percent. That's the Israeli government itself saying that. So um, the reasons that the civil defense is so effective is because, first, the artillery rocket warheads are not very large, 10 to 20 pounds. And uh, the second thing is that people have adequate warning to take shelter. That is extremely effective. Let me just give you an example of how dramatically effective uh, early warning can be. In World War II, during the bombing of London, uh, there were V-1 and V-2 rockets being used. The V-2 was a ballistic missile that hit without warning, because people had no radars at that time to know it was coming. The V-1 was kind of like a cruise missile. It was called a buzz bomb, because it had a particular kind of uh, what's called pulse jet motor that made a buzzing sound. Now, the V-1s did the same amount of damage as the V-2s, but the chances of being killed by a V-1 when it hit the ground relative to a V-2 were 60 percent lower, 60 percent lower. And th th this great reduction in casualties is ascribable to the fact that if you're walking in the street during World War II in London and you hear the buzz bomb overhead, its motor will turn off and it will dive to the ground, but you have seven seconds between the motor turning off and the, and the warhead hitting. And just getting to the ground increases your chances of survival uh, by a factor of 60 percent.